Thank you, Mr. Holt. Thank you, Mr. Holt. Thank you, Mr. Holt. Please be seated. I want to thank you all for joining the Williams School Senior Night. Happy Tuesday to all. Uh, this has been a challenging year for all, and I'm very glad and grateful that we're able to return to being able to hold this special ceremony in person. At this time, I'd like to point out the emergency exits. You came in that way, point to the doors, and to remind you to please be certain that cell phones are off or muted. Photographs are going to be taken at this event, and the ceremony, as you see, is going to be recorded and posted accordingly. And now, as they say, on to the main event. This is a special event because we recognize all of our seniors, our 130th graduating class. They exemplify our primary mission and core values at Williams, striving for excellence and going beyond what is expected in preparation for a lifetime of learning and active participation in a changing society. We honor these seniors who have, through their hard work, dedication to the school, and their class, as well as their special spirit, particularly through this historic final quarter, which has most certainly shaped the year and the attitudes of their peers. We also honor five seniors who are particularly excelled, representing the very best of a Williams education and our mission. Ten seniors will also be inducted into the Cum Laude Society. At Williams, Achievement comes in many forms and arenas, and we're especially devoted to developing the singular talents of each student. We see their talents frequently in the classroom, on the athletic fields and courts, in the art room, on the dance floor, and on stage. But talent alone is not enough to produce the achievement represented here this afternoon. Williams teachers spend countless hours preparing lessons, assessing work, and working with students individually and collectively. Their dedication, however, will not bear fruit unless students are motivated and hardworking. It is heartwarming to hear teachers repeatedly comment on the energy and dedication of their students. Every one of our seniors have achieved great success, each in his or her own distinctive way. Seniors, my 40 that are here today, your teachers have been central in this growth. They've given you the very best of their wisdom, expertise, and knowledge. They've also modeled for you a lifetime of learning and a lifetime dedicated to learning. If you will, please take a moment with a round of applause to thank your teachers. I also want to take this time to recognize all of our senior parents who played the most important role in providing a child their child a Williams education. We thank you for your commitment to your children and to Williams. <laughs> this year, 10 seniors will be inducted into the Williams School chapter of the Cum Laude Society. In 1906, Dr. Abram Harris, director of the Tome School, an independent school in Port Deposit, Maryland, perceived the need for an organization designed to recognize academic excellence on the secondary school level, just as Phi Beta Kappa does on the college level. The original name of the Cum Laude Society was Alpha Delta Tau, adopted from the uh, initials of the Greek motto, Arete DK Time. The word Arete, usually translated excellence, is not limited to the, uh, the idea of superiority in scholarship, but indicates the concept of excellence in the normal sense. DK is translated justice, but includes the concept of what is suitable and appropriate, as well as what is just. TME, honor, includes the concept of dignity, dignity and true worth, as well as honor. Arete, DK, TME, excellence, justice, honor. We recognize the following seniors for their academic excellence as members of the Cum Laude Society. I'm going to ask that you come forward as I call your name and hold the applause until nine of you are on stage. Uzair Alam. Alessandra Darcy. Ellie Fader. Samantha Carlson. John Lian. He's in China. Mary Madaus, Elizabeth Merriweather, Lauren Rolla, 
Gavin Seymour, and Anna Terry. In recognition of your effort, you have been elected to membership in the Cum Laude Society. May you continue to pursue your love of learning as you continue your education, both formal and personal. Make wisdom, objectivity, understanding, and the quest for excellence guide your life. Let the honor this society has conferred upon you challenge you to live up to the principles of academic superiority, moral excellence, and human dignity. And put these principles to good use to help all of us make a better world. Congratulations again. So with great pleasure, I introduce Laura Marcinek Pertel, class of 2008, excuse me, 2006, to formally welcome the class of 2021 to the Williams Alumni Association. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me here today. Um, I am so pleased to welcome you, the class of 2021, into the ranks of the Williams School alumni. As Mr. Fader said, I'm a member of the class of 2006. Uh, my years at Williams were quite normal and very comfortable. Um, I never had to take a class virtually, wear a mask indoors, um, I think for a unit in Mrs. Martineau's drama class. Um, and we, we never had to socially distance from friends. Uh, in fact, I think we were told repeatedly to quit sitting on each other's laps in the hallways during lunch. Um, so unlike you, my classmates and I didn't have to endure a pandemic that isolated us during our high school years. But it's be precisely because of what you experience as juniors and seniors that makes me excited to welcome you into our group of alums. Part of what the Alumni Association does is try to bring alumni together, whether for social occasions, for networking opportunities, or to rally for fundraising events. I anticipate that you, the class of 2021, will contribute greatly to the association. You'll be unfazed by the challenges of staying connected, even if life takes you far from Connecticut. You'll be problem solvers, and you'll think creatively about gathering together, all because you've managed to do so during some of your most formative years. So as you transition from student to graduate and reflect on your time at Williams, I hope you take with you the lessons learned from uni your unique experience and recognize how Williams helped you grow both as a learner and as a young adult. In the future, Williams will ask you to give back to your school. When that time comes, I encourage you to think of a favorite teacher or coach or a prized memory or experience that shaped your time at Williams. Personally, when I give back to the school, I do it to thank the extraordinary teachers that I had teachers who gifted me curiosity and gave me a foundation for continued success. I'd also, continue, I'd also ask you to consider the students who five years from now or 10 years from now will be sitting in your seats, feeling like you do this week. You are the beneficiaries of those who have given to Williams and they will be too. But more and most importantly, stay in, touch, stay in touch with each other, stay in touch with your class agents, Jacob Cohn, Ellie Fader, and John Leon and stay in touch with us. We and other alums are really eager to hear about your personal, professional, and academic accomplishments. You'll find that your alma mater networks, whether it's high school or college, is your most treasured resource. Um, and we really like to hear from you. And please come back to visit school. This past year aside, we do love to bring alums back to campus to speak to students about what they're up to. You will be an inspiration to future Williams students. Remember, you always have a place here. Thank you and congratulations.
Thank you, Laura. Great to have you back. Now I'm pleased to introduce Bethany Seidel and Kristen Shea, who will prevent, present the senior parent gift. We're thrilled to be here today on behalf of the parents, grandparents, and friends, I have to take them off, sorry, <laughs> of, the senior, of the class of 2021 to formally present in the Williams School tradition a senior class legacy gift. We offer this gift back to the school as a token of our gratitude for the values, knowledge, will, wisdom, and life skills given to our children by the entire administration, faculty, and staff. In collaboration with the administration and faculty, this year's gift best addresses an immediate capital need and involves an area of the school where this class has spent a lot of time. As a group, we raised a total of $100,200. We are confident that with all of us here, we are confident that all of us here wholeheartedly recognize the significance the Williams School has had in shaping all facets of our children's education. This year's project is to renovate the heavily traveled and congregated hallway between the PAC and the Williams Room. The project will be completed this summer, and the class will have an opportunity in late July to come in and see the completed work before they head off to college. The PAC hallway project will indeed serve as a lasting reminder of this amazing group of seniors. Mark, we thank you, the entire faculty and staff, for all that you have done for our graduates. Please accept this gift to commemorate and honor the class of 2021. Right. Can't quite put that in my pocket, but I'm just gonna have it in the back. Bethany, Kristen, thank you very much. Macy Kleinfeld, our director of upper school, will now introduce our senior citations. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Fader. Senior night is one of my favorite events because it is a time when we look back check off achievements, commend your growth, and highlight who you've come to be. It's a time, too, for reflecting on the day-to-day -day struggles, the near wins, and the small victories that have made up your life at Williams. In a minute, we will honor you as individuals. Right now, though, I'd like to take a moment to reflect on who you are collectively. You're a group who've become adept with change. Your education has actually focused on it, conducting chemical reactions, studying revolutions, reading about the transformation of characters, translating texts, or even learning how to develop film. You were born into a changing time, and you've experienced major changes in the world around you. Elections, wars, financial crises, technology booms, and now a pandemic. And in your own personal worlds, Change happens all the time, through building friendships, by way of heartbreak, in triumph, and in loss. As a group marked by tremendous change, what impresses me most is how readily and ably you step into the discomfort that comes with change. Throughout your time at Williams, you have realized, consciously or not, that a comfort zone actually makes your world smaller. Yes, life has and will push you to your limits, make you stumble, and bring you to tears. But instead of asking, what can I expect from life, I see you ask, what does life expect from me? And with that flip of the script, you go from being impacted by change to making change happen. You are the change makers, and we could all use a few more of those in our lives, right? So. As you do look ahead to face more and more change, I hope you will continue to step into the discomfort and strive to be your best self, most especially when the world isn't what it should be or what you want it to be. Now, as is tradition, the advisor of each senior has selected a book 
and written a citation in celebration of the student's experience. While these citations represent mere nuggets of your experience, about 150 word nuggets, they are crafted with great care. Uh, to read these citations are your senior class teachers, Mrs. Jackie Lefave, Mr. Ben Ladd, Mrs. Jane Martineau, Mr. Lewis Cohen, and Mrs. Kathy Trammell. Thank you, Ms. Kleinfelder. I'm now going to read the international students. The first one is Chris Ho. Chris has handled distance learning from afar with aplomb, excelling in her academic work and faithfully attending advisor meetings and assemblies. Her impressive art portfolio was especially admirable, as was her excellence in Spanish class, two subjects that are so much more difficult over Zoom. When she was on campus, Chris participated fully in school life as a student ambassador and as a member of our cross country, tennis, and basketball teams. Yet Chris's involvement doesn't stop there. Active on the math team, the service committee, and in Harvard Model Congress, she thoroughly enjoyed all that Williams had to offer. Although she was a quiet presence, her writing allowed her teachers to hear her strong voice while her artwork illustrated her whimsy. Chris, you made the most of challenging circumstances and did it with grace. We are so proud of you and your many accomplishments. Congratulations. Da Hai Huang. Eric arrived at Williams this year under unusual circumstances. His previous school closed. However, Chase Collegiate's loss was our gain, and we were thrilled to be able to work with this kind-hearted, genuine, fiercely intelligent, powerhouse math and science student who maxed out our math curriculum before he ever arrived here. Yet Eric is more than his studies. Fellow students might be surprised to learn of his dedication to community service. He spent two weeks volunteering in a poor region of China, maintaining connections with some of the students there, and then enrolled in a summer course at Cornell studying economics, development, and poverty analysis, wanting to learn more about global poverty. While at Chase, Eric, too, loved playing JV basketball and managing the Chase intramural ultimate frisbee team. Eric, we, miss, we wish you much success next year in upstate New York. <laughs> Eric Huang. Eric's charming demeanor can light up a room. A student with an engaging sense of humor, he contributes to conversations gracefully and with purpose. A student with a keen intellectual mind, he is never one to shy away from any intellectual challenge, even taking multiple honors science courses at the same time. That Eric went a step further by watching scientific-focused YouTube videos shows his intellectual curiosity. He pursues every task with an intense focus, engaging and, emerging, and immersing himself in it, as was the case in his advanced portfolio development class. As co-head of the math club, he took his job very seriously, enjoying solving difficult problems and tutoring his fellow students. A student who enjoys reading difficult novels, Eric was drawn to his favorite, Melville's Moby Dick, unquestionably a challenge. We wish Eric the best in college next year. Congratulations. <laughs> Mo Han Lee, Kevin. Though an unassuming young man, Kevin has made a lasting impression on adults and peers at Williams. Drawn to mathematics, science, problem solving, and geology, he is hoping to one day study paleontology. 
It's not surprising then that his intellectual curiosity leads him past the boundaries of advanced classes and on a nine-day excursion to the Arctic to study climate change, or even teaching himself in order to prepare for a few AP exams completely on his own. Kevin also enjoyed the math club at Williams, and this past March participated in the M3 Mathematical Model Challenge. Also to his credit, Kevin ran cross country and learned tennis during his time at Williams. Plus, he still finds time to enjoy the piano, guitar, and, plu and flute he's played since childhood. At the same time, Kevin is confident but humble and unfailingly supportive of others. He is the quintessential scholar and gentleman. Juni Hao Yun, good luck. Zhong Lian, John. John has admirably served as head ambassador this year. John has always been a spirited and devoted member of the Williams community, dedicating himself to making Williams a great place for all. His leadership and open-mindedness made him an ideal head ambassador. He has served as a strong liaison and leader for our current international students during a year in which his peers were challenged most. His friendly demeanor and welcoming smile made him approachable and easy to get along with. In addition to his many extracurricular activities, including competing on the varsity cross country team and managing the boys basketball team, John took on a rigorous academic curriculum, including as a New London scholar. His inquisitive nature inspired his peers as well as teachers to think critically. It has been wonderful watching you grow over the past few years. We wish you the best, John. Edward, you a young shoe. Edward is this year's recipient of the Philip G. Von Brunt Memorial Prize for Excellence in Art. We all wish we had more than just this year with Edward. As we learned about this student from Chase Collegiate, it was his artwork that initially wowed us. His charcoal portraits, oil landscape, and mixed media sculpture all worthy of a professional artist, exhibit prolific talent. Indeed, his previous art teacher described him as, quote, eager to live, breathe, and devour art. Yet Edward is also talented in other ways, particularly having maxed out our math curriculum before he joined the Williams community. Edward's time at Chase was filled. He was active on the yearbook, engaged in the service group, the Brass City Club, and was a strong JV soccer player and third form basketball player. Yet it's the arts, particularly illustration, that has captivated him. We know that he will be successful in wherever his art takes him. <laughs> Joe. Harry Young. Harry is passionate about learning. Be it his love of history or studio art, he simply loves to be engaged, grappling with complex philosophical ideas in class discussion, in his writing, and in his art. Harry seems the most comfortable when he can combine his interests, even developing a program that enables viewers to see the structure of an ancient temple. What is even more impressive, though, was his application in which he was asked to repair an existing problem. Harry designed an outdoor shelter for the stray cats uh, out of recycled material, out for stray cats out of recycled material. Harry, however, is so much more than his love of art. While both at Williams and at his former school, he was a member of the varsity cross country team. He also enjoyed gathering with fellow students in the math club. Harry, we will miss your warmth, kindness, and hard work next year. Good luck. <laughs> Stephen, Tsiang Hui Tsiang. Beneath Stephen's mild mannered exterior is a fierce intellectual, responsible, empathetic, and thoughtful, hardworking. Stephen embodies all the characteristics of a dedicated scholar. 
His analytical mind easily solves differential equations, translate Latin texts, and delves into the latest research of face recognition technology, a topic he presented to the third international conference on computer engineering, information science, and internet technology in Singapore. A voracious reader, Stephen is someone who loves reading about any number of subjects, including history and sociology, areas that unquestionably excite him. Perhaps most telling of Stephen's compassion, curiosity, and insight was his participation in the Th China Thinks Big program, where he explored inclusion and social justice. Beyond his studies, Stephen loves anything soccer related and enjoyed both playing for Williams and the camaraderie and community that came with it. We are proud of you, Stephen. Juni Hao Yun. Good luck. Zekai Xiang. Zekai. Zekai's international journey has certainly been unusual, yet we are thrilled that it has ultimately brought him from Chase Collegiate to Williams this year. Kind-hearted, a gentle soul, with a caring and sweet demeanor, Zekai will be a favorite on any campus. A student with a passion for puzzles, particularly jigsaw puzzles, he is a student who devours them, bringing him a quiet, mindful time for reflection. Although we didn't get the chance to meet in person, I enjoyed hearing about Zekai's involvement in his Chase community. He was a varsity cross-country runner, a JV basketball player, a co-head of the summer reading committee, and a volunteer with the Brass uh, Service City Club. With a passion for business and economics, Zekai will unquestionably enjoy his college experience in Pittsburgh next year. We wish him much luck and success. How you Joe Joan. We are so glad that Joan came into our community this year. Although we were sad that Joan had to leave Chase Collegiate, we are thrilled to have been given the chance to work with him. Anyone who meets Joan enjoys his hilarious, positive, and good-natured conversation. Although he's a strong student, passionate about both business and film, ask Joan about his real passion, and he'll light up to discuss anything soccer-related. Be it watching his favorite Spanish players, or competing for the Beijing Soccer Association, or even advancing to the Class D NEPSAC soccer semifinals last year, he was a wonderful athlete. Joan has also been active in other clubs, from JV Basketball to the Brass City Service Club. Joan, we enjoyed being able to have you with us this year. We wish you, next, we wish you luck next fall as you tackle life in upstate New York. I would now like to call Ben Ladd to the stage. Sydney, oops, Sydney Assays Jack. Greeting each day and each person with a smile, accompanied by her morning Duncan selection, Sydney has thrived in high school. With maturity and a sense of purpose, she's become a sophisticated scholar whose eager curiosity and strong work ethic yield steady success. Beyond the classroom, Sydney participated in service committee projects, served as a student ambassador, participated in Harvard Model Congress, was an editor of both The Blueprint and Legenda, and played varsity soccer, winning the Southern New England tournament in 10th grade. Beyond Williams, Sydney is passionate about volunteering, working with rustic pathways in Costa Rica. She also has a particular fondness and talent for photography, and her interest in both business and communications will allow her to go far. Thank you, Sydney. You've met every challenge. We wish you much luck in Miami next year. The best is ahead of you.
Uzer Alam. Since his arrival at Williams, Ozzie has been a scholar, leader, and a devoted friend. He is an academic powerhouse who enjoys diving deeper into his studies, even outside of school, as evidenced by his Connecticut College coursework, coursework last fall as a Williams scholar. Ozzie also has a keen sense of leadership, allowing him to thrive as student government chair, upper school ambassador, and lacrosse captain. One can't underestimate his commitment to Williams as a three-sport athlete, dominating both the basketball court and lacrosse field. Yet his travel experiences are what has truly shaped him, giving him a stronger sense of self while opening his eyes to the lives of others, be it as a concerned friend or as a volunteer with Habitat for Humanity. Ozzy has been a wonderful member of our community, and we wish him much luck in the future. Juliana Ball. You might say Juliana is like Maria at the, at the start of Sound of Music. Bear with me here. <laughs> many a thing you know you'd like to tell her, many a thing she ought to understand, but how do you make her stay, listen to all you say? How do you keep a wave upon the sand? Now, that doesn't mean Juliana is a problem needing solving, as the song goes. Quite the opposite. She's a font of capability, compassion, and creativity. An avid reader and gifted writer, Juliana demonstrates deep thought and great effort in her submitted work. She has myriad interests, and she's always up for trying something new. This is why she played two winter sports, basketball and swimming over four years. Also, horses are central to Juliana's past and present. In particular, she's passionate about therapeutic riding. So, how do you solve a problem like Juliana? How do you catch a cloud and pin it down? Congratulations, Juliana. Megan Bookie. During her time at Williams, Megan has gained confidence in her abilities. When she puts her mind to it, she can accomplish anything. Megan is a voracious reader, and her love of novels and biographies has led to a passion for social justice issues. Wanting to help those in need, Megan is a regular volunteer in her community, including in her church and a local food kitchen. She has also volunteered with the service committee, helping with Holiday Angels and Earth Day. Megan always has a smile on her face. She is eternally positive, upbeat, and ready to lend a helping hand to anyone in need. These qualities have allowed her to easily and energetically represent Williams as an ambassador, welcoming prospective families to Williams. Indeed, we will miss Megan's compassion and effervescence next year. Megan, we wish you great success as you endeavor towards your goal of law school. <laughs> Laura Carabellion. Laura is a sponge, absorbing information and experiences, but then seeking more. Self-disciplined and determined, Laura arrived at Williams armed with the tools to succeed. Since then, she's continued to impress with her keen wit, insatiable curiosity, and dedication to her friends. While Laura pursued a rigorous curriculum focusing on the sciences, she also left her mark on Williams through both athletics and arts. She was a four-year member of the varsity swimming, and varsity tennis teams. This year, she was key to producing the school's online literary magazine, 
opus. Laura is poised to enter the medical field, having spent summers learning more about this career path through research with Pfizer, interning in a medical office, and by attending EnviroCamp at Harvard last summer, where she explored sustainability and global warming effects on humans. Thank you, Laura, for enriching our classrooms and our community. Congratulations on your success. Sean Saikura. Sean is this year's recipient of the Excellence in Computer Science Award. Sean has grown in every way possible over his six years at Williams. A loyal community member and scholar, he even took a Connecticut College astronomy class as a Williams scholar this past fall. Sean has followed his passions in the sciences, particularly towards computer science. A skilled coder, varsity lacrosse player, student ambassador, website manager for The Blueprint, the online school newspaper, and a loyal friend, Sean's leadership, empathy, and kindness towards others make him an exceptional community member. Even outside of Williams, Sean has illustrated his incredible hard work, from his volunteering at the Have a Heart Foundation to his work on his grandparents' farm in Washington State, where he has tended the swarm and harvested lavender on top of building drip irrigation ditches. Sean's good nature and disciplined work ethic will allow him to succeed. Good luck in Texas, Sean. Jacob Cohn. Don't confuse Jacob's quiet demeanor with shyness. He is actually watching and analyzing each situation, thinking about how he can become a force for positive change. What's more interesting is that his interests don't often diverge. His patient leadership of the Legenda, which he oversaw from start to finish, demonstrated attention to detail and accountability. Jacob also loves to chat about politics and is a member of B'nai B'rith Youth Organization and Latakan, which took to Washington to lobby Joe Courtney. And did you know that Jacob had two pieces selected for a juried art exhibition? Another defining trait of Jacob's is strong physical competitiveness, which was on display for both varsity lacrosse and basketball at Williams, and when mountain biking or at the shooting range during International Defensive Pistol Association competitions. This combination of physical grit, meticulous thought, and observational leadership will serve him well in the Marine Corps. Semper Fi, Jacob. John Connolly. Jack Connolly's positive attitude guides his every action and is the reason for his ready smile that puts his teachers and peers at ease. In fact, Jack's affable manner helped create a warm classroom culture and made advisor meetings so pleasant. JC30, as he's known by his lacrosse teammates, is courteous and curious, whether engaging in class discussions or supporting his teammates. This thoughtful, inquisitive young man relishes spending time with his friends, having heartfelt conversations with his teachers, and even running the horticulture club, such was his interest in plants. In class, Jack truly enjoys asking questions and probing deeper to further his knowledge or satisfy his curiosity. We cannot forget that this Grateful Dead fan also loves boating and running a bike shop each summer on Martha's Vineyard. We will certainly miss this young man who brings such warmth and positivity to those around him. <laughs> Jacob Deitch.
It would be hard to find a kinder, gentler soul in the senior class. Jake is beloved by all. His talent in both music and the visual arts is impressive, as seen by his talent on the guitar and his thought-provoking and creative work in photography, film, and portfolio design. We won't soon forget the amazing 60s final project on the Ford Mustang. Perhaps car design or even racing are in his future. A master of the water, whether by boat, by wake surf, or even by efoil, his sense of balance and love of fun are contagious. With a strong sense of virtue and empathy, we know this Grateful Dead fan, with a love of goldfish, will take the world by storm. Jake, as you navigate your immediate future, do know that Williams and your advisor are always here for you. Go out and be a star. Alessandra Darcy. Alessandra is this year's recipient of the Prize for Excellence in Spanish. If all of Alessandra's energy were converted into electricity, she would light up southeastern Connecticut. <laughs> it's hard not to be impressed by a day in Alessandra's life, from swimming in the early hours all the way to her evening organ rehearsals. Alessandra's amazing swim times earned her an early captaincy, yet it was her grit and dedication that will allow her to master water polo. Alessandra, too, is an outstanding musician who has graced Harkness Chapel with her outstanding organ play. Passionate about the sciences, she is an independent thinker who is always quick to speak her mind and contribute to class discussions. With a particular passion for the sciences, she aptly synthesizes and analyzes with a critical mind and a sophisticated command of detail, evidenced by her outstanding performance as a Williams Scholar. Good luck next year, Alessandra. We are com confident you'll find great success next year. Joseph De Laurentiis. If he sees a mountain and it's snowing, JD will ski it to the fullest. When the weather warms, JD will quickly switch to boots or pedals and attack the trails by boot or bike. No challenge is too great for this rugged, courageous, yet humble senior. Don't let his zest for adventure fool you into thinking JD is one dimensional. He is a man of many talents, an award-winning, outstanding defensiveman in lacrosse and soccer, and a thoughtful, sophisticated, and determined scholar. A student with a great heart, J.D. has contributed his leadership throughout Williams as a student ambassador, ser service committee member, and junior representative. A budding entrepreneur, J.D.'s LLC is, a well, is well known in the local boating community. Most of all, he is a kind, supportive young adult with a big heart. JD, we can't wait to see what adventure lies ahead. <laughs> Helena Dumkowski. Helena is one of this year's recipients of the Joan D. Newberry Memorial Prize for Excellence in Theater. Quote, courage is a heart word. The root of the word is core, the Latin word for heart. Brene Brown. Helena has always been guided by the truth in her heart, her strong moral compass, and by the treasured wisdom of her family. Her teachers recognize her heart center in her abilities as a talented writer with keen, consistent, and thoughtful insights. 
in her invaluable class contributions and her curious and sophisticated understanding of topics. Helena has been a confident and mesmeric head student ambassador. While she is impressive in academia, Helena is a distinctive and passionate performer. In dance or theater, she commands the stage, escorting the audience through the imagined journey. You are a young woman of substance, Helena. We wish you happiness and good fortune as you traverse the rivers of life. Molly Dooling. Molly puts her whole heart into her friendships, which shouldn't surprise any of us who are accustomed to seeing her engaged in conversation. It should be noted that she actively avoids chairs preferring instead to sit on the floor, stand, or curl up in any position. Molly's empathetic nature and understanding of human connections are what allows her to excel in the humanities. She is a gifted writer, a voracious reader, a passionate linguist, even taking elementary Italian as a New London scholar last fall. There is no doubt that these gifts, combined with her talent for writing and art, will take her far. Even outside the classroom, Molly has been a wonderful contributor, serving as a puppeteer, a member of the tech crew, and an editor of Opus. It is Molly's heart, compassion, and exuberant personality that will allow her to live a life of love. Ellie Fader. Ellie is this year's recipient of the Noel B. Gerson Prize for Creativity. As a member of the soccer, swimming, and lacrosse teams, a stalwart in Winterfest candle dance, an accomplished artist, fashion designer, serious scholar, and loyal friend, Ellie truly is the heart of the Williams community. A true leader, captain of her three sports, head ambassador, and senior class representative, Ellie seems to accomplish it all. Pulling on her intellect and creativity, she thrives in the worlds of advanced biology and portfolio design. Additionally, Ellie sets a strong example for her peers and, her young, and our younger students through her maturity, grace, and selflessness. Ellie, your academic prowess is impressive, and you exemplify all that we want for our students as scholars, athletes, artists, and leaders. Thank you for being the foundation upon which your class and our school can always depend. We have been fortunate to be a part of your life these last seven years and can't wait to see what your future holds. <laughs> Emiko Fletcher. Emmy was a member of our inaugural sixth grade. I remember immense squarish glasses, Godiva length hair, and a bright aura of confidence. In the classroom, her teachers noted her diligence, her meticulousness, and her insightful musings. She was so talented that Emmy garnered Lee roles in the middle school musical three years running. In the upper school, she was in every fall and spring production. She graced our stage as Amelia Abernathy, the Seasons of Love soloist from Rent, and of course, Morticia Adams. Outside of theater, 
Emmy was a strong ambassador as well as a middle school ambassador mentor. As a stalwart vegan, Emmy walks the walk. She is an avid animal rights activist, spending her senior project at Denison Pequot Post Nature Center. Emmy, you have the drive, the intelligence, and the balance to succeed. We wish you well on your next exciting and fabulous journey. Ryan Gallagher. Ryan is this year's recipient of the Michael D. Shapiro Elie Wiesel Humanitarian Award. Eleanor Roosevelt said, the purpose of life, after all, is to live it, to taste experience to the utmost, to reach out eagerly and without fear. Whether she's in Miss Bowe's class learning challenging choreography, on the stage tap dancing, or starting a discussion in AP Spanish, Ryan embodies this sentiment. Be it considering a topic in the classroom, serving as co-head of the service committee, or as a student ambassador, or even performing in Comp Choreo, Ryan is all in. Friendly and empathetic, she has a positive demeanor that captivates, your, that captivates you. Ryan, Ryan's a vibrant personality, enthusiasm, and willingness to put herself out there set her apart. In fact, she is the first to volunteer for an activity or to engage in class discussions. We cannot forget her fashion sense and keen interest in fashion design. Ryan, we will miss your enthusiasm, heart, positivity, and skilled performances. Sky Gardner. Sky is one of this year's recipients of the Joan D. Mu Mu uh, excuse me, Joan D. Newberry Memorial Prize for Excellence in Theater and the Charlotte Ray Science Award. Beneath her demure and wide-eyed demeanor lies a thoughtful, caring, determined young woman. We've seen both her grit and character returning to school after a difficult equestrian fall. Guided by love, loyalty, passion, and earnestness. She is a curious and engaged student. Her teachers see her as focused and committed, conscientious, having a strong work ethic, motivated and diligent. It has been gratifying to watch Skye's confident transformation to a serious student, a talented actor, and a singer, and most expeditious techie, and a supportive peer teacher. Yet Skye's involvement in her community does, does not end there a co-head of the Gender and Sexuality Alliance, co-founder of the Dungeons and Dragons Club, a 4-H teen ambassador, and a Gold Award Girl Scout. We know that Skye's academic confidence, good heart, and considerate nature will take her far. You have brightened our classrooms and graced our stage. Thank you, Skye, and congratulations. Thomas Gardner. Orison Sweat Marden wrote, no man can be ideally successful until he has found his place. Like a locomotive, he is strong on the track. 
we are certain that Tom is well on track to achieving greatness. We were impressed with Tom's hard work in the classroom, in the workout room, as a co-founder of the Dungeons and Dragons Club, as a filmmaker, and behind the scenes of many performing arts productions. His involvement outside school, both with earning his pilot's license and with serving as a 4-H ambassador, was equally noteworthy. Yet, it was during a computer coding class competition that he achieved a legendary status. Not satisfied with his teacher's interpretation of the contest rules, he sought the guidance of the textbook's author, a professor at King's College in London. His prompt email response was in agreement with Tom, of course, and the rest is history. Grayson Guinan. Grayson can sometimes command a room without ever saying a word. Though his advisor believes that his leadership may not yet have reached its potential, a three-sport varsity athlete in soccer, basketball, and lacrosse, where his talent and skill seemed to come to him effortlessly. He helped to make each of his teams success successful, including most recently in lacrosse. But there's an artistic side to the well-dressed Mr. Guinan, one where we saw his talent with the camera and his creation of a beaut beautiful portfolio. In the classroom, Grayson constantly strove to make his work relevant to his life and his potential future career and business. His tireless commitment to understanding investments would pragmatically pay off for him. Grayson accept, sorry, Grayson accept any challenge and face it head on. Go out and keep battling and be the person we all know you can be. Braden Hansen. I start. <laughs> Braden's undeniably proactive approach to learning has helped him shape his high school experience in the most posit positive ways. Never one too shy from a challenge, a three sport varsity athlete in soccer swimming and sailing, captain of varsity swimming, a member of the chess club, the finance club, and active behind the scenes in theater. Braden worked hard to deeply and thoroughly invest himself in the Williams community. Indeed, his dedication and artful skill with technology proved invaluable to the musicals and shows that ran so smoothly. Beyond his rigorous and advanced course load, Braden went beyond his passion for his STEM classes by conducting independent research and macroeconomics for the sheer satisfaction of gaining more knowledge. Even outside of Williams, Braden has challenged himself, traveling down to Florida and the Carolinas for challenging regattas. Braden, we will miss your meaningful conversations and generous heart. Congratulations. Cassius Kane. Cassius is one of this year's recipients of the Joan D. Newberry Memorial Prize for Excellence in Theater. Cassius creates with confidence, nerve, and balance. Evidenced by his bold sense of fashion, he is fearless and that fearlessness is his strongest asset. His teachers say he is a thoughtful contributor, creative and engaging. 
Committed to social justice, Cash has offered his perceptive and thoughtful responses in the PSA club, tempered with his patented Cash humor and sarcasm. I have known Cash's since his early tap, da tap dancing days, five years old. There's a theatrical fire in Cash, a bright, joyful, and charismatic blaze. He enters any performance space and the atmosphere changes. His confidence and exuberance fill the stage. His enthusiasm is infectious, and his sense of commitment to his craft is inspiring. Case in point, his performance as Gomez Adams, for which he won an Outstanding Performance Award. <clears throat> so let's be happy, forever happy, completely happy, and a tiny bit Sad, because you've got magic to do, Cash. <laughs> Mr. Cohen? Olivia Kaplan. Olivia is the recipient of the Noel B. Gerson Prize for Creativity. Leadership comes naturally to Olivia. When an idea comes to her, she is a whirlwind of motion, pulling us all in with her enthusiasm and organization. In fact, she almost glows from within when something new strikes her. A senior class representative, captain of the soccer and basketball teams, a student ambassador, Olivia does it all. There hasn't been an aspect of the senior experience that Olivia hasn't imagined or organized this year. Creativity, dedication, and perseverance are also hallmarks of her work in the classroom. So how does she have the time to shine in the classroom excel as a three-season varsity athlete, and keep an eye on a younger brother. Honestly, we don't know how she has managed to do it all, but we are blessed to have been a part of it. Olivia, you have made our community a better place simply by being you. Samantha Carlson. Samantha is this year's recipient of the Elsie DeWitt Memorial Prize for Excellence in Classics, the Jean M. Watson Memorial Prize for Excellence in Mathematics, and the Leonard J. Bodenlos Memorial Prize for Excellence in Physical Science. The C cures all ailments of man could easily be accredited to Samantha as to Plato, for it is on the water as the captain of the sailing team that Sam feels her true self. But as did Plato, she also shines in the world of ideas. At ease in any and all subject areas, it is in the sciences that Sam's curiosity and analytical thinking converge into brilliance. She wants to know the how, why, and what if of every idea presented. Her distinction of maxima cum laude on the national Latin exam speaks to the breadth of her interests and scholarship. Sam is not content to keep this all to herself and readily shares her ideas with her peers, making our classrooms hum. Open-minded, strong-willed, tenacious, and honest, we know that Sam will find success in all that she takes on. Go get him, Sam. Vaishnavi Lad. Mm -hmm. 
Navia is this year's recipient of the Elsie DeWitt Memorial Prize for Excellence in Classics and the Math Dedication Award. It is impossible to spend time with Navia and not walk away with a smile on your face. She simply brightens our world. Navia is tenacious when wrestling with ideas in the classroom, stretching herself and her peers to think differently and deeply. As a classic scholar and head of the Classics Club, she earned magna cum laude on the National Latin Exam this spring. Navia's positivity can also be seen on the dance floor. She is a fearless, ambitious, and dedicated performer, participating in Comcoria and Enviro throughout her seven years at Williams. She has displayed a commitment to the arts while also competing as a three-sport athlete in cross country, basketball, and lacrosse, captaining the cross country and lacrosse teams. Navia will miss your energy and spirit, but know that you'll be bringing joy to a new community and taking a little bit of us with you. Elizabeth Leake. Lizzie admirably served as a head ambassador and is this year's recipient of the Evelyn Page Memorial Prize for Excellence in History. Bright, deeply intellectual, an enthusiastic learner, Lizzie is all that and more. Active in dance, community service, and her church, she is somehow able to maintain a strong academic record and contribute in many ways to her larger community. No doubt, it's Lizzie's positive attitude and an outstanding work ethic, coupled with a desire for social justice that drive her guiding principles. Lizzie arrives daily with a positive outlook and determination to do her best. This is also true when she takes to the stage to dance, which is her passion, as we've seen through years of Comcoria performances and her performance at Disney World last year. Service is important to Lizzie, as she's shown through the service committee and Holiday Angels, as well as by teaching CCD at church. Lizzie, your commitment to your community is admirable, and we thank you for all you've given back. Congratulations. Elizabeth Lee. Elizabeth is this year's recipient of the Philip G. Van Brunt Memorial Prize for Excellence in Art and the Elsie DeWitt Memorial Prize for Excellence in Classics. Serious, but with a wry sense of humor, Elizabeth Lee is the embodiment of the adage, still waters run deep. She's an accomplished academic who has worked hard to achieve excellent grades. Taking multiple languages, Elizabeth thinks carefully and delves deeply into ideas that interest her. In addition to her academic prowess, Elizabeth seems able to do it all. She's an accomplished violist and violinist who has contributed to Williams's cross country, swimming, and sailing team successes. Elizabeth has contributed to Yale Model, Model UN and Harvard Model Congress as well. Modest and a bit shy, she'll show off her artistic talent if asked. Her artistic expression is a good reflection of her mind. Careful, colorful, technically sophisticated, and wide-ranging in expression. And like most everything that Elizabeth pours herself into, her artwork is award-winning. She was a second runner-up in the Congressional Arts Award this year. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Mary Madaus. Mary is honored as a head ambassador and is this year's recipient of the Elsie DeWitt Memorial Prize for Excellence in Classics, 
the Math Dedication Award, and the Prize for Excellence in the Natural Sciences. Inquisitive, hardworking, talented, determined, patient, and kind-hearted, Mary has excelled at Williams as a scholar athlete, even taking a course at Connecticut College as a New London scholar. As a captain of the sailing and cross-country teams, she was a fierce competitor on both sea and land. However, she was a more gentle leader of our student body in her roles as head ambassador, upper school mentor, J-board representative, classics club leader, player on the basketball team, and more recently, as a cast member in the Adams family. Her senior project was spent improving the robotic hand that has been a multi-year long endeavor, which saw Mary experimenting with different materials and arriving at a deep understanding of biomechanics. Mary's accomplishments are many, but she can also play an accordion and make us laugh as she goes all in for a skit or a music video. But the highest praise of all comes from her sixth grade mentee. She is so nice. Congratulations, Mary. Nathaniel Marchese. For someone so focused on the outdoors, whether skiing, hiking, biking rather, sailing, playing soccer or lacrosse, Nate has impressive intellectual acumen, evidenced by his challenging schedule this year while also taking a Connecticut College course as a Williams Scholar. It was uncanny how he was able to quickly ace a test while simultaneously knowing every trail condition at his favorite ski resort. In addition to his many athletic and academic pursuits, Nate was a leader of the investment club, a member of the service committee, and a student ambassador. One of our favorite memories of Nate happened during remote learning, taking us on a virtual tour of his Vermont property on a four-wheeler. His love of the outdoors is contagious. Bringing us along to see his favorite place was a bright spot during our prolonged separation. Good luck, Nate. We wish you all the best on your journey. Jackson Meisner. Jackson is this year's recipient of the Edward T. Wheeler Prize for Poetry and the Evelyn Page Memorial Prize for Excellence in History. Jackson embodies da Vinci's dictum that learning never exhausts the mind. For him, learning is an inexhaustible source of energy, inspiration, and joy. Twisted like a pretzel at the edge of his seat, Jackson enlivens every, enlivens every class with his boundless curiosity, insightful questions, amazing breadth of knowledge, and sophisticated analysis. Passionate about history, politics, and world events, he regularly holds his classmates and teachers spellbound. A voracious reader of fiction, too, Jackson loves to write and create, excelling in both our English and art curricula. His dedication, integrity, positivity, and eagerness to challenge himself are also seen in his work as cross-country co-captain, class rep, judiciary board member, opus contributor, and Harvard Model Congress star. Remarkably, Jackson does it all with disarming candor, an infectious giggle, humility, and kindness. We wish our Renaissance man all the best as he continues writing and making his own history. <laughs> Elizabeth Merriweather.
Elizabeth is this year's recipient of the Catherine Oakes Memorial Prize for Excellence in English Literature, the Natalie P. Swift Memorial Prize for Excellence in French, and the Richard P. Dower Memorial Prize for History. Arriving in 10th grade, Elizabeth quickly made her mark at Williams, impressing teachers with her strong work ethic that was motivated by her desire to know. A stellar student, she was never satisfied with merely fulfilling the requirements of an assignment. She delved deeply to fully understand each topic. French was unquestionably a passion, and Elizabeth took two upper-level Connecticut College French classes as a New London scholar. In addition to her academic pursuits, Elizabeth has also invested in her love of writing, helping to revive the blueprint. This year, she co-founded the new Williams literary magazine, Opus. Elizabeth made the effort to become more involved in the Williams community by participating on our swim, soccer, and lacrosse teams, as well as in Comcoria. This year, she was a wonderful cast member as well in the Adams Family. We wish you bonne chance et bon courage, Elizabeth. Amanda Nessel. Amanda is this year's recipient of the Philip G. Van Brunt Memorial Prize for Excellence in Art, the Prize for Excellence in Spanish, and the Michael D. Shapiro Elie Wiesel Humanitarian Award. Amanda is a dream student, facing all aspects of Williams with confidence and poise. Her talents run wide. She is an accomplished artist, swimmer, sailor, and volunteer. An outstanding artist, she recently earned first runner-up in the Congressional Arts Competition. Her love of art is so meaningful that she studied at the Rhode Island School of Design to enhance her already impressive artistic knowledge. Yet Amanda has been a wonderful community member in other ways. As a school ambassador, she was a warm presence with prospective families, she also enjoyed representing Williams in both Yale Model UN and Harvard Model Congress competitions. She has additionally spent hours volunteering, be it repairing homes, working in shelters, or serving meals. We have no doubt that Amanda will continue this work in her future, always adding meaning to life and passion for whatever she may pursue. Well done. Mrs. Trammell. Lauren Rolla. Lauren is this year's recipient of the prize for distinction in dance. Anyone who has seen Lauren dance has seen her joy. Lauren simply lights up the stage. She is an incredible tap dancer and choreographer, spirited, versatile, and dedicated. Lauren never stops pushing herself to grow and develop, which we saw through seven years of comp choreo performances, an impressive feat. But Lauren is equally impressive in other ways. She is a talented visual artist. She's dedicated to the service committee, having participated in holiday angels, food drives, and organizing Earth Day. She served as a student ambassador and a middle school mentor, and she participated in Harvard Model Congress. Eager to pursue engineering, Lauren spent summers attending WPI's Frontiers STEM programming, learning computer science, and at the Naval Undersea Warfare Center, helping to create an underwater vehicle. Talented, resilient, and beyond capable. We can't wait to see what you do next, Lauren. Congratulations.
Lily Sabetta. It has been said, how you make others feel about themselves says a lot about you. Lily's compassion for others is magnetic as her big heart and sound advice draws everyone in. Whether playing soccer, basketball, or lacrosse, Lily brings an unwavering amount of skill and encouragement to those around her. Her compassion can be witnessed in many forms. She tutored, tutored that's my Boston accent, <laughs> she tutored in both math and Spanish, inspired others as a member of the service committee, served as a student ambassador, and has taken part in Yale's Day of Service program. Lily's ability to connect with others does not end there, as she has dazzled the eyes of many with her creative artwork. Lily, too, has developed a deep passion for social justice, enjoying her experience with protest and serving as Senator Blumenthal at Harvard Model Congress. I'll do that little here. We have every confidence that Lily would continue to inspire others as she begins a new journey after high school. Lily, we wish you continued success. Max Sarwar. There are several methods of measuring student growth. Whether it is height or academic achievement, Max excels in them all. Inquisitive, Max gets to class early to ask questions, and he often doesn't leave until he determines an answer. He thrived while taking a politics class at Connecticut College. Max is a competitive three-sport athlete playing on the varsity soccer, basketball, and lacrosse teams. He also expanded his interest into other areas by participating in the investment club, the service club, Harvard Model Congress, and as a student ambassador. Yet Max is best known for his benevolence. He dedicated his summer job wages to the nonprofit Sister Cities, Essex, Haiti, to help fund the building of a solar powered water pump. We're excited to see what Max will do as he heads to college on the West Coast. Congratulations, Max, on a remarkable high school experience. Anna Mae Saunders. It has been said that the essential, jo of the essential joy of being with horses is that it brings us in contact with the rare elements of grace, beauty, spirit, and freedom. An accomplished equestrian, Anna Mae is a true picture of poise, hard work, sophistication, and determination. Her performance under pressure has been a sight to behold, balancing a rigorous advanced course, course load with a heavy equestrian travel schedule. She served as a varsity basketball captain while also competing in equestrian competitions in Florida. Anna May's concerns go beyond herself, and she is exhibited this true nature to her peers and teachers alike. She volunteers her time at a local therapeutic riding school and is involved in the school's service committee. The best interests of those around her are always in the forefront. Anna Mae, your charm and presence have been felt by all who are fortunate to know you. Congratulations on your new journey ahead.
Gabby Seidel. Gabby is this year's recipient of the Prize for Distinction in Dance and the Elsie DeWitt Memorial Prize for Excellence in Classics. If there's a production, Gabby can be found in the Darren Performing Arts Center, singing, acting, and dancing. She not only shares her talents on stage, but also works joyfully with younger students, sharing what she's learned and created, be it in Comcoria or the Adams Family. Gabby is not content to merely successfully roller skate through life, literally. She has also challenged herself in every subject, putting both effort and time to excel in them all. And she has done so with grace and humor. During senior projects, in the spirit of service and community, Gabby created an interactive unit for our local history class on the Mohegan Pequots, ensuring her legacy and history at Williams. Gabby has carved her own path, balancing a plate that many of us would not have been able to lift. And we have been fortunate to travel it with her these past few years. Congratulations, Gab. Gavin Seymour. Gavin is this year's recipient of the Elsie DeWitt Memorial Prize for Excellence in Classics. A young man of many talents and ambitions, Gavin gets excited when there is an intellectual challenge to take on. His interests range from chemical engineering to cryptology to chess to Tchaikovsky's ballets, and he excels in all of them, none of which would be possible if he didn't possess a keen curiosity, an impeccable logic, an incredible talent, and a determination to succeed. Gavin has unquestionably been a leader in the Williams community. As student govern government treasurer, as a co-leader of the chess club, as service committee member, as a geometry tutor, and as a Harvard model Congress delegate. He even joined the varsity basketball team this year. Outside of Williams, Gavin has exhibited incredible dance ability, soloing as the Nutcracker in the Eastern Connecticut Ballet Company. Gavin, we can't wait to see what your own story will bring. Create your own fairy tale, Gavin. <laughs> Lily Shea. Lily is this year's recipient of the Michael D. Shapiro, Ely Wizzle, Wiz a humanitarian award. Congratulations. A sensitive soul whose playground is the world, Lily moves with a divine grace, wry sense of humor, and a beaming smile. Quiet and self-effacing, Lily is the rarest of students who sees hard work as its own reward. A meticulous writer with a strong analytical mind, Lily shines not only in our classrooms, but also as a Williams Scholar. 
She unquestionably is a leader, serving as co-head of the Spanish Committee, of Service Committee, sorry, a student ambassador and a Spanish tutor. As an accomplished equestrian, Lily understands setting personal goals and the satisfaction of achieving them. Ask her what she's reading and you'll be rewarded with both the title and its relevance to her life in the world. This depth of thought and perseverance has had a positive effect on all of us who have glimpsed this most impressive woman. Lily, the world is your oyster. You've got this. Terry. Anna is this year's recipient of the Eleanor S. Kranz Memorial Prize for Distinction in Music, the Prize for Excellence in Expository Writing, and the Natalie P. Swift Memorial Prize for Excellence in Fran French. Thoughtful, sincere and dedicated. Anna's commitment to her academics, her music, and her extracurricular activities is indisputable. Her excitement and interest in learning is contagious as she offers insightful perspectives during discussions and engages her teachers and peers alike. In addition to a noteworthy academic performance, Anna has immersed herself in an array of activities. She was a captain of the varsity cross country team co-founder of Opus, the school's literary magazine, an editor of The Blueprint, and a member of the Pit Band. She composed and performed original music for Comp Courier and, and for the play Everybody, earning a Halo Award for Best Original Music in a Play. This year, she also added New London Scholar to her repertoire. How has she found time to write a novel or volunteer at Mystic Seaport, too? Indeed, we will miss you, Anna, but we're certainly eager to see your next chapter. Congratulations. Jack Yost. Jack is honored as a head student ambassador and is this year's recipient of the Jean M. Watson Memorial Prize for Excellence in Mathematics. Google modern day Renaissance man and you'll find Jack Yost. A proud member of the Mohegan tribe, he has greatly impacted all facets of William's life by his consistent presence and talents. Captain of Varsity Lacrosse, Jack's leadership and dedication led to a winning season. We've also revered his performances on stage, from his memorable holograms during distance learning last spring, to his leap on the stage as Mal Bianche and the Adams family. Jack is unquestionably a leader, serving as a class representative and a stalwart head ambassador always perform, personifying our core values of scholarship, character, and community. His relentless commitment to academics is a model for all, evidenced by his taking an astronomy course at Connecticut College this past fall. Passionate about business, astrophysics, and cooking, he finished with a near perfect academic record, record, that Boston accent. Thank you, Jack. Go forth and continue to crush it.
Again, I want to say a word of thanks to all those who advised this phenomenal class. Also, a big thank you to Mrs. Clark, Ms. Kleinfelder, Mrs. Lefebvre for compiling and editing the citations submitted by the advisors. At this time, I'd like to present the, the Heads Award for Citizenship, an award started by former head of school Charlotte Ray for outstanding character and service to our community. This year's Heads Award is given to a senior who has been deeply involved in all aspects of school life as a head ambassador, leader in athletics and the arts, and a positive role model for younger students in the Williams community. This year's recipient has done all of the above so very well, and I'm proud to present the Heads Award for Citizenship to Jack Yost. Along with the prestige and perks of senior year at Williams comes a mantle of responsibility and leadership. The senior class historically sets a tone and example for the entire school community. Each year, the senior class votes to recognize someone who has embodied the spirit of the class and helped it earn its respected place as a community role model. This year, we are pleased to award the senior class award to Olivia Kaplan. Jane Hannon, Assistant Head of School for Teaching and Learning, will now present our next awards. Thank you, Mrs. Lefebvre. Some students catch fire as they wend their way through secondary school. Ideas take on a life of their own. The mind begins to work in mysterious ways. And in most cases where dramatic change happens, the midnight oil burns brightly. We as faculty are especially proud to see students improve, perhaps because we feel we might have had something to do with it. It is always with great pride and a smile that the Williams School Faculty Prize for Improvement is given. I'm pleased this year to recognize Sky Gardner. Academic excellence is valued and respected by students and teachers at the Williams School. Effort and care are part of every piece of work. Developing the skills needed to excel in every course is a craft. To be a gifted student at a demanding school requires insight, balance, memory, and wit, as well as qualitative and quantitative skills. The phrase academic artist best describes those able to achieve this excellence. The Colin S. Buell Memorial Prize is presented this year to our top scholar, Elizabeth Merriweather. Each year since 1968, the Marion H. Hamilton Bowl has been given to an outstanding member of the senior class. Academic virtue, contribution to the community, and acknowledged leadership are qualities exemplified by students who have received this honor. The Williams School is justly proud of all of its graduates, and we believe that the recipient of the Hamilton Bowl will always represent themselves 
and the school with dignity. This year, we are happy to present the Marion H. Hamilton Bowl to Mary Medaus. I'd now like to take this opportunity to thank the senior class representatives, J.D. De Laurentiis, Ellie Fader, Olivia Kaplan, Gabby Seidel, and Jack Yost for their leadership, hard work, and dedication to the class of 2021 and to Williams. Please welcome three of the senior class representatives to address their classmates, Olivia, Ellie, and Gabby. Good evening, superstars. That's a Mr. Hawkford reference for those of you who haven't had him as a math teacher for the past two years. I would like to begin by saying congratulations to the Williams School class of 2021. I'm so pleased to be standing here addressing you the evening before we graduate. I can't believe it's the evening before we graduate. I remember arriving here as this shy little ninth grade girl who didn't know anyone and who was afraid to speak. God, how that's changed. Graduation was barely a thought in my head at the time. They say time flies when you're having fun. I gotta say, these past four years, in the moment, time didn't really seem to fly. Standing here before you now, though, looking back on what everyone has accomplished, how everyone has grown, time not only flew, it flashed by. Williams has been a very meaningful experience in my life. It is very rare that people genuinely enjoy coming to school. Even though some days were long and tiring, I always looked forward to going back to school the next day and seeing my friends and learning new information in class. I'm so happy that I'll always get to have this connection with my fellow classmates. I can't wait to see what everyone does with their lives in the future. Thank you, Williams, for preparing us for the next steps in our lives. You will not be forgotten. Since arriving at the school in the first ever sixth grade class, I've appreciated the community we all share here at Williams. It's been evident to me over the years how driven intellectual and kind-hearted my classmates all are. I think I can speak on behalf of everyone when I say we wouldn't be the people we are today without the guidance and support we've received from Williams and, and our surrounding peers. We will all look back on the time we shared here, remembering how we all bonded as a class during our chaotic class meetings, our lip sync performances, and fun school dances. I'm so proud of everything we've all accomplished and there'll be more there'll be even more of that success in the future. Thank you to Williams for the best seven years, and thank you to my classmates for all the memorable moments over all these times. Congratulations. Boy, it's been a long seven years. I am so grateful that I have all, I've had all of you by my side to experience middle school and high school with. You are all such incredible people and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for every single one of you. You inspire me every day to work harder and to be better. I hate to be the one who mentions what a hard year it has been, but it's true. It has been incredibly difficult and I just want to remind you that you did it. We did it and probably the hardest year to be in school, apply to college and graduate, we did it. That is so impressive, guys. I truly want to thank the school for helping us get through this year. And lastly, I want to thank you all for being such amazing human beings. Congrats, everyone. Before we proceed, I want to take this opportunity to thank all those people who made Senior Night such a success. 
I want to thank the administrative staff for helping with the organization of the evening. They were tireless and spirited workers, and they mean so much to the school. So will now everyone please join me in the singing of the alma mater. It's in your program. Thank you, Mr. Holt. <clears throat> Sorry about the mic drop, that was not intended. <laughs> um, I wanna thank all of you for sharing these special moments with us this evening. This concludes our program for our seniors. Before I dismiss, I just want one final opportunity to tell the seniors, nine o'clock at Harkness Chapel for your photograph tomorrow morning, right? Okay, good, 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 good. Please join us in the Wiseman Student Center patio for reception following our recessional. And parents, please pick up your gifts that are given to us, given to you all by the Parents Association in the back. Good luck, good night, and I look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow morning at our commencement. Mm -hmm.